Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, I'm here to have like a excuse my nails. I gotta go get two of these, babe. But just to have like a talk. You know what? Like yesterday was kind of like the most liberating points of my life. Um, I quit my job yesterday. I've been working there for three years. Um, it was kind of a bittersweet sweet situation. Um, because it was a blessing to get that job. But then the things that came with the job and the type of environment I was in, it really, it kind of drained me mentally. Like, I felt like I was at a point of no return. Um, it was, it was, I wasn't in a good state of mind. Um, so it was a blessing when I first got the call, you know, I was working, um, in retail, nothing is wrong with retail, but I wanted to get out of retail. I wanted an office job. So I got the job. I got the credentials that I needed to perform the duties at the establishment at the job. Um, but like, my goodness, it became, it just, I just really realized like how mean and how some people, some people are and rude and how some people be like really out to get the next person. Like the quote that goes around, they want to see you do good, but not better than them. That is so true. It is so true. Like. It was just crazy. It'll be some situations that it's kind of like, what? Like, I didn't even do nothing. Like, so why am I, why am I getting in trouble for just, just using the monotone that I use? So it's kind of, okay, so I, it's constantly getting it, but it's like someone is throwing me under the bus so I can get reprimanded for things. It's not like someone said, hey, let me speak to the higher person in charge. It's Oh no, someone is going to like tell to make it just just worse for me. Mind you, um, I know some people have some things going on in their life. I do understand that. I know, look, each day is a battle. Some people are sick, some people are ill, some people just experience death, some people just got some bad news. But, you know, sometimes and they, they take it out on people they don't know because it's their outlet. But sometimes we gotta find a different type of outlet to control, like to control our emotions. Like sometimes innocent people have no fault in what's going on and you take it out on them and you don't know what they are going through as well. So, you know, I try to have an understanding with that, but you know, sometimes it's just like, Lord have mercy, what? Lord have mercy. It, it's constantly, it's, it's constant. It's not like, okay, I'll talk to this person. I'm not going to see them again. I'm not going to hear from them again. I'm going to hear from them again. Because that's just kind of the close counter that we have with uh, people. Um, so, uh, I quit my job yesterday. I have a plan. I have faith that my plan will come to light. I have a plan, so I'm not worried. I'm not scared. Um, I know some people are like, well, if you don't have nothing lined up, I mean, you shouldn't quit a job. Or the, the place was kind of like destroying me. It was destroying me mentally. Um, my attitude has been different towards people. Um, I kind of didn't want to do anything because I will be in a funk. Um, and then on top of being an establishment where I felt, um, basically I felt unwanted, um, needed, but unwanted. And it, it's just working in an establishment with um, women and men. But for some reason, women with other women 
sometimes I don't know what the motive is with some women or what the issue is with some women. But sometimes women do not like to see other women doing good. Sometimes women do not want to see other women happy. Sometimes women, they just, just get some type of, I don't know what it is. I wish I could know what it is. I wish I could, you know, ask someone, hey, what is your problem? Why are you, why are you angry? It's just some women and they kind of like bring outside things to work and I'm a person I come to work I'm professional y'all not gonna tell you my business you're gonna only you know gonna only gonna know so little about me because I have friends I have friends to vent to I have friends to talk to that I'm not worried about them passing along my information if we are at the workplace I'm is basically we're at the workplace I have friends. It's no need. We can be cordial. We can be, you know, learn how to maintain in a professional workplace. But I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to do what I got to do. And I mean, yeah, I'm here to work. I mean, if you want to build friendships, I, then so be it. But count me out. No offense, but just count me out. I'm, I'm cool. Um, but I felt with that being said, me not being friendly or me not telling my business or exposing myself is kind of it's kind of like, hmm. Let's see what let's see if this gets a reaction. Let's see if this gets a reaction. Like a lot of times, like this year, it's been like I could count on my hands like how many times I've been in trouble because someone went and directly said something to higher authority that stuff that didn't even involve them just to it'll be miscellaneous things that have nothing have no even reason to be said about even be spoke about but they made it their mission to go and you know, tell or throw me under the bus or don't come to my defense. And it's like, okay, at the workplace, you still have to have to be like a team member, help your teams out and everything. But that wasn't the case. It's been so many times this year that I have been thrown under the bus that I have been constantly like uh, reprimanded for things that uh, my tone, it's miss a, And I'm one that I can admit my flaws. I can admit my faults of anything but 99 percent of the time it's just why am i getting caught in here for this oh okay i already know who did it so it, it and it's kind of like okay you still have to be amongst these people every day that's really their goal is to try to get you in trouble or get some type of reaction out of you some people dwell on negativity misery some people get a Kick out of seeing someone else miserable and I really think you you them themselves have to be like a sick a sick individual a miserable person person as well because for one it's kind of like you're blessed each day for one and don't you know about karma like what 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 you put out there is going to come back to you. So your goal and your mission to, is to bring someone else's someone else down. But that's going to come back to you at the end of the day. It's really going to come back to you. And it's, it's basically like um, I read uh, I read an article. It was kind of like jealousy in the workplace. It's kind of um, like uh, what is it? Sometimes the energy is with the the issue is not with them the issue is, is with themselves sometimes people just hate to see like i said someone hate to see you happy someone hates to see you improving sometimes people just like just hate to see some, some, someone have something good going on for themselves because they have other things that going on outside of that but i mean if you focus on what you need to focus on you can have great things going on in your life. You don't know what the other person is going through. You don't know at all. 
you don't know what they go through because they don't tell you but it's like your mission i like by me quitting i felt like a weight have been has been lifted off my shoulders i feel empowered i feel happy um i don't feel stressed like this whole year i have i have been stressed like i used to have panic attacks i was stressed because it was over it was overwhelming and it's like okay i knew you know i just try to have faith and i hope that you know okay nothing else is going to come about but here we go again something else does come about because someone missed the, the mission is to bring me down like to make me you know come out as the be like a bad person and i'm not i'm not a bad person i believe i'm a good person i pray for others i try to put good energy out there um i definitely try to be a positive person i'm not a negative person i'm not one to sit up there and gossip and try to bring someone down or talk about them or talk about what they got because hey i got my own stuff going on i ain't worried about what somebody else got going on i don't look i got a whole nother life i got bills I got ready to take care of by my by myself, basically. So the article um, it was on like Baller Alert, um, which is a great read. Um, the one thing you need to understand in order to overcome jealousy in the workplace, and I don't feel that anyone won this battle. I don't feel as if I got, I feel like I did get pushed out. I feel that God pushed me out. God pushed me out because he has something better for me. I definitely believe that because I have faith that, you know, God got something lined up for me. I'm not worried. Um, I just feel like I had to kind of like step, step back and took a look at what's important. My health is important. My sanity is important. And I definitely don't want to be in an environment kind of like where i hate going to every day and it was at that point like i hate going to work like my at my attitude to be like after work you know I, I go to work i do what i gotta do i'm gonna keep you know my spirits up but like outside of work on my personal time i will still be dwelling about the day at work and it was like okay because i know it was going to be something else again someone was going to throw me under the bus to try to get me in trouble um, so with that being said, I just wanted to like, you know, just get this out here. If someone is battling, if someone is in between and having issues just at the end of the day, um, just have faith, have faith, know that it's not, it's not you, it's the other person and their issues. Um, it's, it's definitely not, not you. It's not you. It's them. Um, so just focus on you, focus on your goals, focus on, on just doing better, finding a way to get yourself out of that situation, find a way for yourself to be happy because at the end of the day, it's all about being happy and being content. Um, stress is, stress is not good. Depression is not good. Having anxiety is not good either. And I experienced all of those things. Um, so just have faith and know that you will soon be out of that situation. That you're not the only person going through that. I think like situations like that kind of happen. It kind of happened everywhere because some people are it's je jealousy is everywhere. It's everywhere. It's miserable people out here everywhere. It's, um, you know, misery loves company. Sometimes people want thing, bad things to happen just because they have something to talk about. But at the end of the day, just have faith and know that it definitely is a light at the end of that tunnel. That something positive is going to come from it. Like, God is definitely taking you through a storm. Um... He's taking you through a storm, but at the end of that storm, God is definitely going to have that, that he's going to have that umbrella and then it's going to be a rainbow at the end of that storm. So, um, my journey is not over. I'm definitely looking for this, this rainbow is soon to come 
because of some things I'm, um, you know, getting lined up. I think this is the best time to, like, start, kind of put my dreams and my goals into actions. I've been procrastinating, so, and I haven't had a, a chance to, like, really, my mind has been so cluttered that I haven't had a chance to, like, be creative or be mentally open to sit and think about, okay, what, what I want to do. What I need to do, what I want to do, actions I need to take to get things done. But this is a perfect time. What a better, what better time than now? So I believe my time is now. God pushed me out because he know it's something better out there for me. Like I said before, I just wanted to come out here and just share this because I know someone is probably going through that. Someone, I know someone is going through that. Or you could be the person that that's out there jealous of someone it's it's you just know that everyone has a different story everyone has a different journey everyone has different things going on um just have faith and just pray 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 and know that god will definitely get you through or some loved ones you know will help you get through it Thank God I got a good um, support system that helps me and encourages me that, you know, everything will be okay. Um, so, I just want to come out here and share that, you know, it's, you know, you ain't the only one that is hard out here in the workplace. But keep up the faith and know that it's not you. It's the other person. Jealousy is a, a, a some jealousy is, is something else. Um, I had to like kind of not even get out of my body to do this. I just want to be faithful. I mean, not faithful. I just want to be positive because I didn't want to come out here and shed negativity. Um, so like I said, I just wanted to come out here and share this with you all. If you all have any questions or you want me to go real in depth about what happened. Um, feel free to let me know. Um, I feel like I'm so at an open book. Hey, I'm not there anymore. So ain't nothing going to happen. So if you want me to share it with you, I will. So I hope you all have an awesome day. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to try to like, you know, document and come back with news and everything. And just, you know, some insight on stuff that's going on. So, all right. <laughs>